community. It's show and tell time. community. I'm Pam and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. If you're new, welcome. Um, as I made a mention, this is show and tell time and what I'm going to do is show you my Aglaonema collection. Um, it's not by any means a huge collection, but I did want to share with you um, the, the varieties that I have. Now, there's over a hundred varieties of aglaonemas, and if you're a new plant parent, I would highly recommend um, getting uh, this particular plant because it's very easy care. And outside of it being easy care, um, it provides you with such a variety of different colors and uh, leaf shapes and sizes. And I kind of want to share with you the ones that I have. So let's just get right into it, okay? So my first one that I want to share... And I want to say I have about, I think like nine that I might want to share with you guys. Um, but let me start with this one. Is my Burmese Aglaonema. And I just love it for, I guess, the silverness in the leaves. Um, and it's, a, it's not that huge. But that's fine. Like I said, I really love it for the color that it provides. And I like the, uh, I guess, uh, the shape of the leaves as well. And I do have new growth growing in. Um, what works best for me with my aglaonemas is uh, actually letting it dry out. You can pretty much put these things in any area of your home. Um, I have some where it's getting very... Uh, low light like a, my north facing window i have some near my east facing window and i do have some underneath my sansi lights um, inside my home as well and it's been doing pretty well for me so as we go through that's nice i just love the pattern on it as well it's like different patterns on here very beautiful plant um let's see my next one i'm gonna go into which is Kind of a still of like a silver type thing, but I, I love it. Um, and this is my, my silver bay. As you can see, it's still silver in the middle, but it's a very different kind of silver pattern compared to the Burmese uh, variety that I just sh shared with you guys. Um, and it's pretty full as much as it can be. Let's see, it's floppy. And this plant did very well for me when I got it. It had slight cold damage on the leaves. And I haven't had this plant for a year now. Um, and it's, it's giving me new growth, if you can see right here. Um, so, you know, that's pretty cool. Another variety, if you're into the silver hues with the green. Beautiful uh, pattern combination right there. Let's see. Now, my other one that I'm going to show you, share with you guys, this is, um, with my collection, I'm just going to, sh I'm showing you guys my collection as it is. I didn't do any changes to the leaves. I didn't pull anything. I just wanted to be honest and upfront with you guys, a uh, full disclosure. This right here, I think, is my Siam, Red Siam Aurora. And it's, this plant has seen better days. I don't know um, about, about it with you. If you have um, any of this particular variety, but for me, this is my second plant, you guys. The second type, um, my red aurora. I killed my first one. I don't know where it went wrong. And this one is kind of slightly declining a little bit as well. It, when I got this, I've had this plant for over six months now. When I first got it, it was completely full and really lush looking. And I've been losing a lot of leaves um, since we've been go going into um, dormancy period as far as our plants. But for some reason, I've lost a lot of leaves, but I'm also getting a, a lot of new growth. So right here, there's one right here. Even have, I don't know, let me see if I can, I don't know if you guys can see this one. Um, I have one, let's see, like, Oh man, I'm sorry, the camera 
It's like a little stem right here. So I have a couple of um, new growth, but like I said, the leaves are also just turning. Usually just turn this color and then it will just completely just die, die off. And I've noticed that with this particular variety, I'm having the most trouble with out of all of my aglaonemas. And like I said, this is my second one. Um, if this one happens to decline, I may not buy, um, I probably won't get another one of this variety again. But I just love it because of the white stems and just that red hue that's around the outer tips of the leaves with this very beautiful dark green. So like I said, it's very beautiful uh, and rewarding houseplant nonetheless, even though I'm having a little bit of problems out of it. Now, uh, let's see. My next one, this one I'm going to share with you guys. I've had this for at least a growing season. And this I brought as um, advertiser, Aglaonema Frozen. Um, and I just, I just love the pattern on the leaves. It's beautiful. The only downfall, I guess, you guys, is that I, it literally just came with one stem. You know, and I think for me personally, aglaonemas look very beautiful when you have more than uh, one stem. But I, I really was drawn to it because it just, I, well, I love pink. That's one thing. But it's just the speckling of the different hue of pink. You got a little bit of dark pink with light, and then it's just going throughout the veining of the greenness that is a light green pattern with the white stem. And I really love um, the aglaonemas with white stems. It just really adds a pop of color to your collection. Uh, let's see. My other one mm, will be, and I love, uh, my pink Dalmatian. I mean, look at it, you guys. This is beautiful. And you know, we're actually approaching Valentine's Day. If anyone celebrates, this would be a beautiful uh, arrangement or plant, actually, to purchase um, for someone just to show that you care. It doesn't necessarily have to be roses all the time, but this is just as beautiful. And some of, my, and some of the leaves are dying off, like this one right here. Um, I could probably just literally pull that off, but I usually just let it die off. It usually turns this color, and then it'll just get limp, and it'll fall off this leaf as well as this leaf as well. So I'm not sure if maybe I'm giving it a little bit too much water. Um, so I may just let this one really, really dry out. What I do know about Aglaonemas, honestly, is they do not like having any form of wet feet or being moisture. So I, I let it absolutely completely just dry out to the bare bones before I actually start giving it water. And it tends to like it. Now my other one, which is another pink variety. Like I said, you guys, I love pink. And this would be, I believe this variety, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, because I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is the Sparkling Sarah. And I mean, look at it, you guys. Just look at this. Who can deny this plant? Absolutely stunning. And it really plays off, I think, with this um, red uh, pot that I have. It just really pops. But I love it. And it has, um, I just noticed, some new growth right here. And a little one actually see that right in here so it's been growing and this is just a leaf that's wilting and dropping off so you know I try to keep especially since we're in winter time here I just try to keep my eye on uh, making sure that my I don't lose too many leaves which means if you know if you're losing leaves and they start turning yellow that's basically usually a sign of a watering issue so I try to Keep in mind, I do know that sometimes I can be a heavy waterer at times, so I'm still keeping an eye on it. So, yeah, let's see. Let's get right back to it. I have, this is my Maria. 
And this is another one that has like a funky like silver with the green uh, pattern. But who can deny this beauty? I just love it. I love it so much actually I have another plant that's just like this. Um, and it's actually in my bedroom. And this one has actually been growing in my sunroom. And I have it sitting underneath a table where it's not really getting light on top of it per se. It's getting light from the sides. And it seems to like it um, since I've had it in here. It's been giving me new growth. Um, I really haven't had any issues with it. And it goes so well with this pot. And hey, speaking of this pot, now that I think about it, I actually have a video that's already uploaded, you guys, if you get a chance to actually look at it, where I'm talking about my creativity style. And I believe in the video I did cover this particular pot, um, how my creativity um, adheres to my love of plants. So if you haven't seen it, I believe it's like, are you a pothead <laughs> um, category? If you haven't seen it, please check it out. I think you might actually like it. But yeah, this is the Maria. And let's see. This is uh, one of my favorites that I really wish I had a fuller, bigger pot of. And this is my Aglaonema chocolate. Of course, because of that backing. It's just so beautiful, you guys. I just love it. And it's been... I've lost a couple of leaves. Um, it is like two stalks in here. But I've lost a couple of leaves. Um, when I first got this plant, of course, it was getting acclimated to my environment. So that's expected when you get a new plant. But it has been giving me new growth still here as well as here. And I have it sitting underneath below my east-facing window and it's been receiving some um, indirect light from my sansy light. And it's it loves it. Isn't it beautiful, though? Mm, absolutely beautiful. Now, let's see. I think I may have two other ones. This one is a small variety one. And I don't know which one. I don't know what variety this is, you guys. I have no idea. Um, it's very juvenile form. Uh, and I've had this plant... For over a year, if you could believe it or not. And I don't know what it is about this particular plant. I have this actually in my bedroom. And it's receiving very minimum light um, from my, I say, a, my northeast facing window. It's not getting a lot of light. But it has been getting enough to maintain the pink color in the leaves. My only wish is I wish that the plant was fuller. It is providing me with a new growth. I don't know what it is about this particular plant. I've only been able to just maintain seemingly just two leaves per stalk for some reason. Um, you know, I'll get the two. I get the two leaves, and then usually one will die off, and then another one will come. So, you know, maybe it's just meant to stay um, this juvenile form. Um, it has grown high, and the leaves are look like they're trying to get somewhat big. But I really appreciate it for the beauty of the color, the color of the leaves. You know, you just can't beat it, especially if you're a sucker for pink like I am. This is one of the beautiful plants to go. If you guys happen to know what type or brand, what type of plant this is, um, shoot me a comment below and let me know. Because I, I was trying to do some research on it and I just could not pinpoint exactly which variety this one was. And then I have one more, you guys, that I want to share, I believe. That I really love. Um, it's probably my fullest. And this is ah, the Aglaonema Golden Madonna. Look at this. Do you look at it? It's just so beautiful. It is gorgeous. And it's trying to, um, let's see, hold it. See that new growth right there. And I just love how tall the leaves are. And you have, like, variegations of white with a little bit of yellow. And then these white stems are just, it's just absolutely stunning. And you actually could have this, like, sitting on your dining room table or a coffee table as a centerpiece. And actually a conversation piece. Um, very beautiful, uh, very rewarding plan. I have this sitting in my dining room. 
um, buffet uh, table, um, and it's just getting some light from a Sansi lightness so many feet away from an, my actual window where it's receiving some light from there, but not much. But it, it still is rewarding me with new growth. So who can beat it? So I say, you guys, aglaonemas is the way to go if, one, um, you appreciate different colors, um, variations of color. Two, it's also um, friendly on your wallet. You can get an aglaonema almost anywhere, and depending on the fullness of the plant, for maybe between range of fifteen to twenty dollars. So it's very budget friendly, and it gives you just the most reward rewards that you would want in the most sought off after plants that provide us with those bright colors that we're looking after. So if you're a new plant parent and you're looking for some form of splash of color in your collection and you don't want to break the bank, the Naglanemas are the way to go. Um, so yeah, I, I thank you guys for coming along and um, giving me the opportunity to share with you guys my Aglaonema collection. Comment below, let me know if you guys um, have any of the ones that I've shared with you or if you have some that's not part of my collection, if you don't mind sharing and letting me know um, which kind, which variety you guys have and what are your care tips? How are you getting your plants to thrive into your environment. So yeah, that'll be all for this particular video, you guys. So keep in mind, if you love foliage as much as I do and you love listening to planty things, definitely hit the subscribe button. And also, you want to give me a like, a thumbs up, a thumbs down if you want to. Any support that you can provide me with, it will be much appreciated. Enjoy your day wherever you are in the world, guys. And until next time, much love. Bye.